In this video, we'll be using unit multipliers to convert rate of speed. Our first problem is to convert 65 miles per hour to centimeters per minute. Now we're converting from English to metric, and these are linear measurements, so I need to use one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. This is the equivalence that we know is exact, and it will convert from an English measurement to a metric measurement. So our miles here, I'm going to need to convert that down to inches, and then we'll go back up to, well, then we'll be in centimeters, so we're good to go. All right, so let's start with what we're given. This is a rate, and I need to take the full 65 miles per hour and write that as a fraction, 65 miles. Remember, per means divided by, and then my hour unit will be in the denominator. So this is my 65 miles per hour. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert this uh, mile unit. Since I'm going to inches, I'll take my mile, one mile, is the same as 5,280 feet. And this is an equivalence that you should have memorized. And if you don't, put it in your notes and, and try to get that memorized. Now my unit miles will cancel off. And I'm now in feet per hour. Um, I still need to get to inches, so I want to cancel off feet and convert that to inches, and I know one foot is 12 inches. So one foot there and 12 inches there. And now my feet units will cancel off. Now that I'm in inches, I can convert to metric. So my inch unit will be in the denominator, one inch, and then that's equivalent to two 0.54 centimeters and my inch unit now cancels off. So now I'm in centimeters per hour. I want to go to centimeters per minute. So to cancel the hour unit off, I need one hour in the numerator and 60 minutes in the denominator. Now my hour unit will cancel and I'm in centimeters per minute, which is what I wanted. So my answer, let me write it first with factors. I have 65 times 5,280 times 12 times 2.54 divided by 60, and that's centimeters per minute. I'll box this in as an answer. And if we put that in our calculator, we get about 174,345.6 centimeters per minute. Let's do another one. In this one, we're asked to convert 1.5 kilometers per second to miles per hour. So we're going from metric to English, and so I'm going to need the 2.54 centimeters equals one inch. So I'm going to take kilometers down to centimeters, and then I can make the jump over to the English. So I start with my rate here, 1.5 kilometers per second. Um, let's go to meters. So one kilometer is the same as a thousand meters. And again, this is a metric equivalent that you should know. Um, then uh, we'll go from meters to centimeters. So one meter is a hundred centimeters. And again, another equivalence you should be familiar with. Now since I'm in centimeters, I can make the jump to English. So 
centimeters in the denominator and inches in the numerator, 2.54 centimeters equals one inch, and my centimeters cancel. Now I'm in inches per second. I want miles per hour, so now I need to go back to a higher unit. I have inches, so I want to go to feet. I want to cancel inches and go to feet, and I know one foot is 12 inches. These will cancel. And then let me go down onto the next line. My next unit multiplier, I want to cancel feet off. So I'll put feet in the denominator, and I want to go to miles. Okay. I know the equivalence is one mile is 5,280 feet. So now my feet in the numerator cancels with my feet in the denominator. And I'm in miles per second. I need miles per hour, so I need to convert this second in the denominator. I need a second in the numerator, so that it'll cancel. And my equivalence there is from seconds to minutes. And I know one minute is 60 seconds. Now my seconds in the top will cancel with the seconds in the bottom. And then I need to go from minutes to hours. And I know one hour is 60 minutes. So this minutes in the top cancels with this minutes in the bottom. It'd be nicer if this was all on one line, you could see it better, but as long as you remember something in the top cancels something in the bottom, that'll help. So let's write our factors. We have 1.5 times 1,000 times 100, 60 times 60. And in the denominator, I have 2.54 times 12 times 5,280 miles per hour. So this is my answer in factored form. It's equivalent to about 3,355.4 miles per hour.